Hi, my name is Daniel Platt, and today I want to answer the question, how can I install MySQL on my computer? Well, if you've got Brew installed, there'll be a link, I'll, I'll link to it, then it's going to be very simple. What we can do is we can search for MySQL inside Brew. And we've got a few different versions we can install. We've got MySQL here, but we've also got MySQL 5.6 and 5.7. This version of MySQL, the one without the version, is actually the latest. But you can also install it as 8 because you might not want to, um, when you upgrade Brew, it will always try to install the latest version of MySQL. So you might want to pin it to 8.0. So let's try doing that. So we'll type brew install MySQL. If we wanted the always to have the latest version, then we'd just press re return there. Or we can just type in at 8.0. And when that's finished updating brew, then it will actually install the MySQL for us. Okay, that's brew updated. It does it automatically after a, 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 I think it's after a few hours. And now it's finally downloading MySQL. And now we can see it's installing MySQL as well. Great. So, if we want to make our installation a little bit more secure, which I'm very happy having root without a password, then you'd run mysql underscore secure installation, and that will prompt you to create a password for mysql. But as I say, I'm not going to bother with that. And at the moment, mysql will not be running. Oh, it is. I don't know, Brews Auto started it for us. So if we can check that, Brew Services list MySQL. I didn't need to put MySQL in there. So Brew Services list. Now MySQL has got an error. Everything lists, lives in USR local for log. Let's have a look, see what that error is. See, I can't see a particular error. And MySQL is running. Let's just restart MySQL and see what happens. Okay, occasionally brews a little bit funny. Um, it doesn't notice when things are, are working or not working. These status flags aren't actually checked against the system. So it could say started, but it's not running. So it's always worth double checking. So we've got MySQL installed. How do I recommend using it? Well, personally, I use uh, PHP, but if you want some tool to... Uh, explore the database, then I would suggest something called SQL Ace. It used to be called SQL Pro, but I believe another group of people have taken over uh, and forked it. So SQL Ace. So I'll download that and then I'll quickly run it to show you. And because we're running local, then oh, and then we just use root. If you set a password, then great, do it. And then we'll just add it to favorites. And there you go. You've got the MySQL database. You can create your own databases. You can then create your own tables if you want. And 
you've got complete control over your MySQL. And up here, you've also got the ability to do extra bits and pieces and run tools like check table, optimize, that sort of thing. And you've got your query browser here. Or you've got your query here, which will uh, enable you to just have a look at everything. Which will just allow you to uh, run whatever you want. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.